I always knew I wanted to go into technology after university. That stemmed from back in my GCSEs doing computer science. At college, I chose networking. And when I was looking at my next step, I was looking at a vast amount of universities, most of which do do computer science. Some do software development, some do games development, but not many universities do a cyber security degree. This is why I chose Kingston, because I knew I wanted to specialise and go ho and hone in on what my specialities are, being security. All industries require a cyber security specialist, starting off from an analyst and work your way up to essentially and eventually managing the entire infrastructure. Industries from centralised global finance to local communities all depend on this cyber security infrastructure. Kingston University, having a degree in this particular field, allows me to speak to professors who specialise in this field. The university has its own specialised facilities and equipment, which allows me to use this equipment to get a further understanding of the field. And for myself personally, I've done my dissertation on quantum key distribution. Having the ability to learn about quantum mechanics is all well and good on paper from books and lectures, but Kingston being a specialised university has its own kit. I use this kit as my artefact for my dissertation. If you're looking to get into technology, you'll find that most universities have modules on cybersecurity. Kingston University, on the, on the other hand, is a specialised university. We have a whole degree all based around cybersecurity, which allows us to have modules tailored in that space. We have modules such as network security, threat intelligence, digital forensics, and my personal favourite, ethical hacking. This room we're in today is the Cyber Lab. It allows us to have an isolated environment to perform sandbox experiments. Ethical hacking is a perfect example of this, whereas in the real world, you won't be able to hack into your friend's PC. In the Cyber Lab, you're able to perform these experiments safely and learn all about the infrastructure and how to prevent attacks.